humans, I'm Mr. King. Hey, hey, hey! Alright, we are going to talk about carbonate chapter. So basically, there are nothing much that you need to know for these chapters. Okay, what you need to know is basically just the cycles of this calcium compound. Okay, so such as calcium oxide, calcium hydroxide, and calcium carbonate. That's it. Alright, first one, calcium oxide. Okay, calcium oxide is also called lime. Okay, and in order to turn calcium oxide into calcium hydroxide, it can be done by adding in water, H2O, okay, to form calcium hydroxide. Okay, followed by this chemical equation, see CaO plus H2 to form calcium hydroxide. Okay, and calcium hydroxide, okay, in the form of solid, okay, which is white powder, it is called slake lime. But when we keep adding in H2O, okay, and it will dissolve to form calcium hydroxide solution. And then this is what we call lime water. Okay, remember lime water? Okay, so the chemical formulas of lime water it is calcium hydroxide. Alright, so then from calcium hydroxide into calcium carbonate, it can be done by adding in carbon dioxide. Okay, to form calcium carbonate, so called limestone. Okay, for your information, calcium carbonate it is a white precipitate. Okay, so this is the reason why when your bubbles carbon dioxide gets into lime water, okay, it turns cloudy. So this is the reason why it turns cloudy. Okay, it's because of the formation of this white precipitate, so-called calcium carbonate. Again, okay, followed by this chemical equation. Alright, and then next one is it from calcium carbonate into calcium oxide. Okay, it can be done by heating. Okay, so this is what we call thermal decomposition. Okay, remember calcium carbonate undergoes thermal decomposition to form calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Yeah, so basically that's all you need to know. Alright, all the chemical equations okay, and the condition needed okay, to change one calcium compound to the other. Alright, thanks. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you again. Bye.